I'm Dave, we're at Gentleman Rose Club. Uh, we're cutting Dan's hair today, low skin fade. I cut Dan's hair probably once a week. So I know that the skin fades, it's grown out. It's only had about 10 days, so I don't need to clear any bulk or any weight. I'm just gonna go straight in with my guideline. I'm gonna put a zero guideline in, so I'm gonna take my clipper and I'm gonna take it back just half a mil. And I'm gonna use the clipper to put my line in all the way around, my guideline, my first guideline. It's gonna be a low fade, so we're gonna take it just below the occipital bone, around there. This is a little bit different because we normally go, we've been all over the place, haven't we, with your hair done? We've been kind of high, low, um, medium, we've, and it's gone, we've, we had it so high one, at one point that it didn't even look like a fade. But now he's realised that his barb is always right and that the height that I put it at originally was the best. Haven't you, Dan? Seen the light, mate. <laughs> Okay, on this side here, we're going to take, so I'm going to go just, just where his eyebrows ends, so just below the temple, with the zero. And just putting that line, I'm going to connect that to that one there. And that's going to literally be um, foils to the top, and then we're going to blend up. We're going to have quite a harsh blend on this, because you like the weight that you right, there we Drop down to a full zero, and we start removing any weight. You want to lose the sideburn and what's on the face as well, Dan, yeah? Okay, so in a minute I'll take a, a smaller detail around there. Just being careful not to take any chunks out of my line, my first weight line. See, at the bottom of Dan's neck here as well, the hair grows in, the, in all kind of different directions. So it's important to take the clippers in all different directions on the neckline. It's important to check those lines in between stages so that you know that evidence lining up well. Looks like a better height. And I've zero gap this detailer. It's only good for one thing, and that's just taking it down to bald on the side. So there's no lever on this, it's literally just a fixed blade, and it's good for just doing this job. And this is to prepare the scalp before the foil. So it's, it bridges the gap between zero on the clipper and foil. I don't know if you can even see what this is doing, but I can feel it cutting. You might want to see the difference in tone there. And it's, it's really good on that, on this bit here. So it all goes in different directions. It takes that nice and low. Right, foils. Now normally I'd only take the zero to about there. I take everything below that line and then I blend in that gap, but he's told me that he wants the zero high and he wants it to be a harsh blend. Not faded. He wants it faded, but not, not to the point where it's like a really smooth transition. Not so I'm going in all different directions with that so that it picks up all the hair. And then if you if you struggle, if you can feel it struggling, run it down first and then head back up. And that way you took a little bit of the length of the hair. It'll find it easier to find its way into the foils. <laughs> and then that's how you get a lovely clean finish. Okay, we've established a baseline with a zero now and we've we've balled it out. So now I'm just going to whip the two up and I'm going to take out any weight so that I'm, I've got a, a start and a finish to fade in.
I'm just going to follow that all the way around. So we're going to get to 0.5 open lever on the clipper. Now this is quite an important bit now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and flick out. And as you, you create a nice graduation with that. So I'm flicking out, this is like a C motion. If I went in, I'd be putting in another line. And you get C6, Steve. <laughs> Terrible dad joke, mate. Okay, so I'm going to drop it down to 0.25. I'm going to take it just a little bit lower. I'm taking it about half, flicking out again, taking it about half the height of the 0.5. This won't disappear, this line, till the very end, the very last bit. Now we're just literally picking at the line. Going back to this clipper, and this is the one that's going to be taking out the line now. Still going to leave some weight there, but it's just going to break the line up so it doesn't look like it's a, a poor haircut and it's more a, a harsh blend. You can hear that's just cutting, it's only cutting a tiny bit, but it's enough to break up what was there. Right, now we've got the end of this and we're literally just going to soften the last bit of that line and we're going to do that by just literally pressing on and pulling down. So we don't want to see a line there, however half we want the blend, we don't want to see a line. And this is just a patience thing. It takes a little bit of time to, to do it. The hair sticker at the back as well, remember, so you're gonna need to you're gonna need to put a little bit more work in at the back rather than on the sides. And it's, it's this is really light, I'm literally just skimming the hair. The last bit of our cut now is we want to blend from our 0.5 to our 2, but you still want weight in it, so I'm gonna guard skip the one. So I'm going to go from the 0.5, I'm going to skip the one, I'm going to go to one and a half. And I'm going to just flick out so that I still leave the dark shadow above the 0.5. If you use the one in between the 0.5 and the half, you just get a smooth transition again, which is what he doesn't want. So I'm just going to use 50% thinners. We're just going to take a little bit of weight out of the top. We're not root thinning it, we're just thinning the ends. So I want the volume and the root gives the volume. If you thin at the, thin at the root, you take all the volume out the hair will lie flat. I'm not going to take in, I'm going to push the line back. I'm just going to take this few hairs, create a nice line. Now we're going to take around the edge there. Just the beer trim, mate. We don't do just the beer trim. We do a brilliant beer trim. Do a five star, mate. Or do you want an average beer trim? Average. We do a one as well. The ones are too quick. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Just the beer trim. 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 Just the beer I'm going to just make that nice and flat around there. 
Very good, dude. How does that feel? Yeah? Kept the weight there for you. It kind of just goes zero to hair, like, you know? But it hasn't got that harsh line in it. You happy? Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.